I've joined one of the last, if not the last, French Voyager reenactment group that still paddled the original routes of the mid-1700s Voyager and fur traders of the Great Lakes. Formed in 1986 and based out of Saginaw, Michigan, they call themselves the Saginaw Voyagers. Since then, they've traveled over 5,000 miles of the original routes. These trips foster an understanding and appreciation for the early Great Lakes fur trade and the role that the area has played in the fur trading industry. On this voyage, we're paddling nearly 50 miles down the east coast of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, from Sault Ste. Marie going south to Detour Village. After, we'll trailer the canoe and the gear south to Mackinac City for the Mackinac Rendezvous and Trade Fair, an 18th century reenactment festival and fair. This one's going to be a little different. We start our journey west of the Sioux Locks, making our way through the industrial area and the waters of the large freighters, or Lakers as they're called here. No going back now. Still have a compass back there? Yeah. There is one. There's We're going uh, north, uh, north, uh, north, east. That's it. The, the Sioux is 13,000 people, Michigan, and they're 45,000 over there. No, I, I thought it was 80. Right. Let's, let's ask uh, Uncle Google. All right. Ready? Oh, it's beautiful. Is it gorgeous? You like the smell? Oh, like yeah. Fertilizer. Follow that barrier. Let's see yeah. what the sign says. It'll tell you. I've been in the locks like this. Wow. I've been in the locks on like the Crooked River and yeah, stuff, yeah. and Sheboygan locks. Yeah. yeah. No, not, 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 not this. Not this big. No. The guy who was at the dock with the kayaks yesterday. He's got more kayaks coming in a, a little bit, and he said we did everything appropriate. It's, what we didn't know is that it doesn't open till time. Nine. Did you pass the buck? Nine o'clock. I called the uh, the lock tours. They're not open yet. What up, guys? Here's the canal guy. For your safety, we're going to ask that you go there back right out now. We so I can open down. these valves full. Do you have any hard okay. hats for so, safety? <laughs> okay. Both sides. Forward. Alright guys, Voyager's lady, Eric, what? Stay to left side or right? It doesn't matter. Right in the middle. So we came through 100 years before this lock was built. <laughs> and we're waiting for the lock to open that long. Oh, we're going down. Thank you. And we'll have to we do it. Ready, Voyagers? Pull it! Could have gone smoother, but the intention was completely on us to be totally. I mean, all the two of the bolts. We were the. Put on a show. 1.3 miles, that's the other Oh, I see, I see what it is. For lunch, we met up with a road crew at a boat ramp and switched out some paddlers. Then, since we had the wind at our back, we decided to put up the sail. Looks like a immature. Is that a cock? I, I think we need to bring that old tradition and Gabernet has to be carried to that shore. <laughs> I think if we're going to be accurate, uh, historically, we should do that. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Every group having a grumpy one was predicted by uh, Disney. <laughs> Except there's not 12 of us, so we're missing, we're missing someone.
I got I gotta keep the battle all the time. Yeah, or else we can go that way, huh? such a beautiful day and we had the sail up and we didn't really need to paddle so much because we were moving along. So I decided to fly the drone you know, and everything was going great. So the wind picked up. The wind that's going in our direction with us. And my drone just decided to not fly with the wind and come back to me. Just get low battery and that shouldn't have mattered. But the drone went down to its demise at the bottom of the St. Mary's River. I'm gonna miss you drone. Yeah, it was a good draw. It was, it was really good. I got the shots though. I did keep the shots. It was shots. a good draw. It was worth it. Three, three years. Good dog. We had a few good three. Didn't come back though. It did, yeah. <laughs> My dog always comes back, not the drone. The dog's more loyal than the drone. After a long day of paddling 16 miles down the St. Mary's River, we finally make it to our first camp, Dunbar Park. It's typically a day use area, but the county was nice enough to let us stay there for the night. Come on, so how many people have tripped over these uh, stakes in the middle of the night? Yeah. Hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds. <laughs> Yeah. 
Tito. Come on. Go uh, jinx us right now. Home jinx us. It's all Guys, Noah's jump. fault. We had two of them. He had the opportunity. Five minutes. Whatever. Well, we get some water boiled. Alan, I tried to do it. Yeah. You know how many, uh, you know how many cooks it takes to uh, spoil the broth? Ten. No, too many. <laughs> how do you how do you make how do you know that that the other story was? <laughs> sorry, you know what, like, Gary? Don't I'm sorry, I'm not up to the standards. Well, but. well, I've never seen it done, but it, it was have. described as going. No, just peel it off and then just slide oh, it. No, it was described as. <laughs> you call a hundred dead lawyers. A good start. There you go. Yeah, if you want to put there, I'm happy with the It doesn't, sh it doesn't shake yeah, out for good luck. He's on a watch crew. Oh, my eyes. Who'd you say the other one? Mike. Oh, we don't want a second. All right, it turned out to be a pretty good day. We got the tents set up quick, made some dinner, and now we're all really tired, and it's time for bed. Do we have any matches? I don't know what we do. Well, and I'll be stirring it. Sure. No, you do. No, no. Yeah, you do. On this, you can do this. We're on the power. On the power. You, you can do this in a swimming pool. The only thing influencing the turn is the rudder. And the rudder is only an eight inches wide, ten inches. Yeah, you can't you turn with a rudder if you've got enough forward momentum. Yeah. If you have did. enough forward momentum. Well, we no, I was thinking of pulling over for lunch or whatever. Yeah. I haven't looked to see if there's an island that's out there. There might be. Oh, it was British. It's all right. You walk to the uh, Come and get it. underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, down to the down to the shoreline. Half of that beach is newspaper towels Thank you. 
Not many berries over here. I think Mark Mark picked them all. He always destroys everything. Okay, guys, we're gonna put it sideways, so uh, we're all gonna get that way, and then uh, back out. One, two, three. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Put it sideways now. All right, voyagers, ready? Away! That would be a nice to actually go to Chicago River one day. Hey, boss, give us a little more uh, notice when you want us to paddle, eh? But we, we, we didn't paddle for 20 minutes, that's why. Ready? Boy! The way we. Oh, yeah! Tie up on this side. We're tying up to the dock, this side of the dock. Is that what yeah, you're I think so because the wind is going this way, so towards us. It's a fetch paddle, never been paddled, like... dropped only once. <laughs> it might be coming. Man. Man. To your right. To your right. No, it's yeah, it's gonna catch up on the rocks. It'll yeah, be yeah. Okay. yeah, we can walk out to it. Uh, I'm gonna have a less you know uh, an IPA. 16 ounce or 22 ounce? Uh, let's make it 16. Have you seen their a sticker from the distillery, less you know? It says, the more you drink, the less you know. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pull out. Cheers, uh, Voyagers. Cheers. No, no, uh, the more you drink, the less you know. Thank you. Saw one of these in Burning Man. Oh yes. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go to Burning Man? <laughs> you think you saw a TP at yeah. Burning Man, but you saw it. <laughs> Good, you're good. All right, hey, we're 
If you've noticed, the normal chatter between our crew has silenced. This is because we are paddling two hours straight with no break into a headwind across Minuscan Lake. If we were to stop for a break, we would have drifted backwards, so we had to keep fighting forwards until we got close enough to the shoreline to give us cover from the strong winds. Typically, we paddle for 20 minutes and then rest for 10, but couldn't afford that luxury in this situation. Ideally, we'd like to have a full canoe of 14 paddlers, but due to many of the older guys in the group who have been there for years having scheduling conflicts and other health issues preventing them from joining, we were down to nine for this voyage, which definitely showed with our lack of speed and power. Nah, so far they're softer ones. Nope, nope, that is a jaggedy kind of one. All right. Is it all mucky all right. bottom or is it sand? No, it's rock right now. Rocks. Oh, is it? Ooh. It just turned to rock. Yeah, I see the rocks. Nice paddle. Looks good. Oh, you just lost your paddle. Uh-oh, fumble. Fumble. Scylla says that they don't believe in us and that a boat from here is coming and can tow. I think we're getting, we're close, but I don't know. That's what they... We don't said need, that. We don't need a boat. I don't think we do, but they but somebody's coming anyway. Just letting you know. Somebody's coming to look for us. Let's hide. We got we'll, we'll show them. That time. Yeah. We kind of are. We'll just, go to the, we'll just go to the back side of the island. Yeah. They'll never see us back there. Yeah, I can see the boat now. That's gotta be it. Hey, Kevin, behind you, could you grab me that uh, oh, jerky? We're not right gonna get it's right behind you. Right Thank you. I think we should do it. I don't. You want a flag? No, I mean I think we should uh, no. paddle. paddle there. We should paddle. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. should. So we can't, we can't we give up call. this no. last little bit. Uh huh. This is like when I ran a marathon and the lady at mile 23 was giving out water and she's like. Honey, you don't look so good. Do you want to ride to the finish line of like, kiss my ass? Yeah. Like, I'm uh -huh. going to finish this mm -hmm. year. <laughs> exactly. You're so close. <laughs> Can I hear that? Oh, we're about two miles. Woo! It. When you put it like that. Do you have a steak? Steak guitar? Push off the rocks and just drag the down and forward. All right. Down forward. Fire is ready. Play! Planers, no, no doubters. No lovers, no haters. Yeah. Good job. What is it? 1.6 miles. Let's go. Yeah, right. that's right. You guys want any help? No. No. Take beer if you got it. Take beer if you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, we're joking. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll race you. On the count of three. One. <laughs> that house was kind of a greenish, uh, kind of a light green roof. Yeah. No. That's approximately where we got to go. The, uh, About a mile. Know, probably 45 minute pull. Beach it. Yeah. Okay. As long as we're easy with it, a lot of breath. It looks kind of uh, grim on 
After a grueling 15-mile day, we make it to our next camp, Glen's Cove. Since we paddled in pretty late, we decided to make an easy dinner and call it a night. Uh, Frank and beans and goldfish. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> Put some coffee. <laughs> Frank and beans and goldfish. You better take a picture of that one. That's a, that is a good one. Did you wash your hands today? Yeah, I just got back from the bathroom. Oh my God. You no, have to tell us that. It, meaning it's the only time I wash my hands. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a long ways to go. <laughs> I'm kidding. Is, oh yeah, now I see it. Am I weak this morning? Is that what you're saying? And here are your donuts. <laughs> <laughs> just slept the gloves on. I got there and then one of the nurses says, push! And she pushed. And Feels humid as well, but it could be there. Uh, oh. You look west. It seems like it's humid. I was wondering where you wanted us to stop. How's it looking? In a bit. All right. Ramming speed. You have to do it quick. We're stopping. Yeah, yeah, we're not making it through this. Yeah, there, there's rocks right here, so we got to kind of pivot around it. You want to tie it to this? Right here? I'll just stand here. Okay. Yeah. So, pipe. Rest your back a little bit. So now you're not going to let me? That in my shoulder. That helps. He's up in Alaska. Oh, wait! As I said before, many in the crew have been voyagers for decades and won't be able to paddle for too many more trips. So we're always looking to recruit new able-bodied members. So if you live in the Michigan area and have a passion for canoeing, kayaking, and outdoor adventures, send me a comment, email, or find me on Instagram. Link in the description below. It's never a dull moment and a lot of fun. Oh, 
Boston there. And three. One, two, three. Golden. Good, Mark? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was it. Originally, the plan today was to go 14 miles, but there was too strong of a headwind. So we stopped at eight miles, and a uh, good thing we did because there could possibly be a storm coming as well. So now we're out of the water, and next is the Mackinac City Rendezvous for the next few days. Nice! That was nice. It sounded good too. basically uh, the first command is uh, voyages are ready so you raise your paddle to your chest level so I, I can see or, uh, and then and then I say package which means we just start pulling I had an amazing time on this adventure doing something I never imagined doing and meeting a ton of great people along the way if you enjoyed this one, please give me a simple like on the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really does help spread my outdoor content to other like-minded people. Also, since my drone had malfunctioned earlier on the trip and drowned, I set up a GoFundMe to help raise money for a new one. That would really mean a lot since they are not cheap. Thank you all for watching and the support. And as a bonus, I put our goofy talent show skit from the rendezvous fair at the end for you to laugh at. Enjoy. If you think it looks awkward from your angle, you should see it from ours. Uh, I guess it came out a little early, but it's fine. This is just a job fatigue. We sometimes lose members, and recruitment is 90% of paddling. So this is our interview for Jacques Petit, whether or not he will be a good member, productive member of our crew. And we're looking for public input. So we're going to look for, the, the, we're gonna look for your uh, appreciation for Jacques at the end, whether or not he's going to get the job. This is Jacques Petit, and I have my interview criteria here. Ready. You know, he's out. Uh, first off, you gotta see Jacques Petit can paddle. So we gotta see how he does paddling. There's a lot of different strokes you can do. But if you can hold this Jacques Petit, we need it. It doesn't look the right way. The big guy needs to go down. That's a certain thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, he flipped it too many times. We only, only once. Thank you. Oh, that's a good smooth stroke. That's good. We like that. Uh, maybe a little faster. A little faster. We need, we, need, we need to put the big, deep strokes. Big, deep strokes. Oh, yeah, big pedals. Big pedals. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Sometimes we need to navigate. And we need to know which way the wind's blowing. So for that, we, uh, our official so second of your procedure is to stick the finger in, the, in your mouth, check the wind. I don't know, is, it, is that even wet? Mm. Okay. I'll believe you, I, I'm not going to test it. You're going to find out uh, some, some measurements about you. Can we see how, how far you can reach wide? Sometimes you're going to, you know, we need to climb a tree maybe later. Uh, now let's see how high, how high can you, can you reach? Sometimes you got to reach things high. I don't know if you're going to reach the canoe. Wow. Uh, how about, this is a unique one, but I promise you it comes in handy. Uh, sometimes you have to go against it. So take it slow. Let's, uh, one, yeah, oh, left one finger? You can do a one handstand? Do you do push-ups? Okay, that's, a, that's impressive. That's very impressive. Let's take a note. No, this, this, is, it can get a little scary out there. We, sometimes, we see bears. Most of the time we're in the water, that's great. We're in the water, we're kind of far away, we can paddle away from them. But if they're, if they're close, you might start running. 
Really fast. Really hard. You gotta make it out of there. Really? Okay. You want quick? Come on quick. Now you're, you're running down the path. Run down the path and there's there's a gap in the path. And you gotta jump over this ravine. And then you land. Uh, you, oh, okay, oh, finally. That's a long one. Now on the other side of the ravine, there is a tree. You gotta see how you climb the tree. Yeah, we, uh, let's, get, let's, get, let's get up that tree. And grab the tree. Yeah, I got, I got the tree now. I got it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> I think the bear may have caught him already by then. Bears, I think, climb very fast. I've never been chased by a bear. Uh, but trust me, this was very necessary. We needed to know. Uh, sometimes, you know, the moisture's got to be strong. You can let go of the tree now. Bear, the bear's gone. Well, I mean, he may be. You, you sometimes have to, most of the time, the, 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 the equipment is in the canoe, but sometimes we need to, to portage it. And so we're both thinking that, that you can catch this. And oh, wow, you got a strong neck. Real strong neck. Take it, that's right, that's right. You check, check it out right there. Sorry, neck, I'll throw it over, throw it over, throw it over, 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 over there. Okay, right, we'll try this again, one more. Okay, well, you know, that's, that's mostly the important stuff, but. Uh, surprisingly, we have had problems with this this subject in the past. Uh, I make sure we can eat. So I make sure you can eat. So we got we got some nice oatmeal here for you. You know, this is how we prepare it every morning. Some good oatmeal. Every morning. Yeah, you're gonna give up. Oh, we forgot. You want some water with that oatmeal. I'm sorry. Here you go. Yeah, oh, that's that's gonna crush that thirst. Last one. This is oh, very. This is surprisingly important. Uh, just just needs to eat a banana. This is vital to the interview process. If you don't do this, no, no, that's not where the banana goes. We were wholesome here for so long. You gotta peel it first. I'm trying. That's a good looking one. I picked that up this morning. Yeah. Yeah. That good. <laughs> uh, yeah, but our final test. How do you think he did? Thank you.